1964, the Soviet Union stunned the world with Voskhod, a spaceflight program so unconventional it left even seasoned cosmonauts uneasy. But why did Soviet engineers risk lives to pack multiple crew members into a capsule originally designed for one? As NASA scrambled to respond, Voskhod quietly shattered records and redefined the limits of human spaceflight. Behind its triumph hid a story of political ambition, strict safety measures, and technical improvisation. What secrets did Voskhod carry into orbit, and what nearly went wrong that history forgot to mention? Launched in the shadow of Cold War tension, the Voskhod spacecraft represented one of the boldest leaps in Soviet space engineering, pushing boundaries that many in the West believed unbreakable. Designed as an adaptation of the earlier Vostok capsule, Voskhod was retrofitted to carry multiple cosmonauts, despite its cramped interior originally meant for only one. This can be seen in the fact that the Vostok and Voskhod used the same fairing except for a bulge for the airlock Voskhod 2. Engineers removed the ejection seats, stripped away parachutes, and repacked life support systems to fit more crew, all while increasing mission complexity and risk. The result? Voskhod 1, the first human spaceflight to carry more than one person, launched in 1964 with three cosmonauts aboard, none in spacesuits, a first, and a gamble. What truly set Voskhod apart was its purpose, not just scientific advancement, but symbolic dominance. In a race for global prestige, the USSR sought to outpace NASA by showcasing its technical prowess and ambition. A second flight, Voskhod 2, saw Alexei Leonov perform history's first spacewalk, a groundbreaking moment that almost ended in disaster due to suit malfunctions and a near-fatal re-entry glitch. Though short-lived, the Voskhod program carved a deep imprint on space history, bold, controversial, and unforgettable. It proved that political will could drive radical innovation, even when safety hung in the balance. The Voskhod launch vehicle was a strategic modification of the proven R-7 rocket family, originally designed for military purposes but repurposed to dominate early spaceflight. Derived from the Vostok launcher, Voskhod featured a strengthened upper stage and improved guidance systems to support heavier payloads, essential for multiple cosmonaut missions and pioneering maneuvers like spacewalks. Its launch sequence was a calculated ballet of engineering precision, starting with four strap-on boosters igniting and detaching in a symmetric pattern, followed by the core stage carrying the craft into suborbital velocity. The third stage completed orbital insertion, carrying the heavily modified Voskhod capsule into low Earth orbit. While technically impressive, the rocket's design had limits, it was optimized for short-duration missions, and safety compromises were made to achieve rapid Soviet milestones. Still, the Voskhod launcher enabled historic firsts, including the first multi-person flight and the first EVA. In many ways it was the same launch vehicle as is still used to launch Soyuz today. Externally, they look essentially the same with most of the upgrades being internal. On October 12, 1964, the Soviet Union launched Voskhod 1, a mission that rewrote space history and rattled the nerves of engineers, cosmonauts, and Western analysts alike. It was the first spacecraft to carry multiple humans into orbit, three cosmonauts crammed into a capsule originally built for just one. No space suits. No ejection seats. No room for error. Grimacing face. The crew, Vladimir Komarov, Konstantin Fiktistov, and Boris Yegorov, represented not only pilots, but also a scientist and a physician, signaling a shift toward more complex in-space experiments. But what truly made Voskhod one jaw-dropping was the political pressure behind it. The Soviet government wanted a show of strength following perceived U.S. gains in space. The mission was rushed, and many safety protocols were skipped in favor of fast results. To fit the extra crew, engineers had to strip down every non-essential component. This meant removing escape systems entirely, if something had gone wrong on ascent or re-entry, there would have been no way out. It was a gamble, and one that paid off only because everything worked exactly as planned. Despite its risks, Voskhod 1 was a triumph. It proved that human spaceflight could evolve beyond solo missions, and opened the door for future orbital work involving teams of specialists. It also laid a political marker, the USSR was still in the game, willing to push boundaries even at great cost. On March 18, 1965, the Soviet Union launched Voskhod 2, a spacecraft that etched its name in history by enabling the first extravehicular activity, EVA, a human stepping into the void of space. 
Aboard were Pavel Belayev, the mission commander, and Alexei Leonov, the cosmonaut who would become the first spacewalker. What unfolded was both awe-inspiring and nearly catastrophic. Voskhod 2 featured a special inflatable airlock called Volga, necessary because the craft couldn't be depressurized safely. Once inflated, Leonov exited the capsule tethered to it by a lifeline. For 12 minutes, he floated above Earth, an image that would become iconic. But his spacesuit ballooned uncontrollably, making re-entry into the airlock nearly impossible. In a moment of high-stakes improvisation, Leonov vented air manually from his suit, risking decompression sickness, just to squeeze back inside. The drama didn't end there. Re-entry was plagued by failed automatic guidance, forcing Belayev to switch to manual control. Their landing site was off course, deep in the Ural Mountains, where they waited hours in snowy isolation before rescue crews could reach them. Despite the risks, Voskhod 2 was a triumph, a bold display of Soviet innovation and human grit. This mission pushed the boundaries of space travel, showing that humans could work outside spacecraft, a critical step toward future stations, repairs, and moonwalks. After the daring successes of Voskhod 1 and Voskhod 2, the Soviet space program had big plans to continue pushing boundaries. But behind closed doors, a series of ambitious Voskhod missions, Voskhod 3 through 6, were quietly cancelled, victims of shifting priorities, mounting technical risk, and political realignment. Voskhod 3 was scheduled for a 19-day two-man mission with the intent of studying long-term weightlessness, medical, military and other experiments. The crew Georgi Shonin and Valentinovich Volonov were originally scheduled to launch in June of 1966. Voskhod 4 was scheduled for a 20-day two-man mission with the intent of studying long-term weightlessness, medical, military and other experiments. The crew Georgi Buregovoy and Georgi Kadis were originally scheduled to launch in the autumn of 1967. Voskhod 5 was scheduled for a 10-day two-woman mission with the intent of conducting medical and other experiments as well as the first female EVA spacewalk. The crew Valentina Ponomaryova and Irina Solovayova were scheduled to fly somewhere around the end of 1966. Voskhod 6 was scheduled for a 15-day two-man mission with the intent of conducting military and other experiments and multiple spacewalks. The crew Yevgeny Kronov and Anatoly Voronov were scheduled to fly in early 1967. The Voskhod program was driven by bold goals, demonstrate Soviet dominance in space, fly multiple humans simultaneously, and push beyond technical norms in human spaceflight. It was a show of prestige, engineered less for long-term sustainability and more for geopolitical impact during the height of the Cold War. Among its key goals, Voskhod aimed to 1. Beat the U.S. in sending a multi-person crew into orbit. 2. Prove that humans could perform complex operations in space, including spacewalks. 3. Expand the roles of cosmonauts beyond military pilots, incorporating specialists like physicians and engineers. However, this ambition came with serious problems. Voskhod 1 required stripping out essential safety measures to cram in three cosmonauts, making evacuation impossible. Voskhod 2's EVA was nearly catastrophic, Leonov's suit overinflated, and manual re-entry control was required due to guidance system failure. Technical limitations of the launch vehicle and capsule design pushed hardware beyond safe tolerances. Despite the risks, Voskhod delivered stunning accomplishments. Voskhod 1 was the first spacecraft to carry a multi-person crew. Voskhod 2 enabled the first human spacewalk, a milestone critical for future space operations. It proved that crews could work collaboratively in orbit, laying groundwork for future stations. The Voskhod program stands as a daring chapter in the race for space, defined not by safety and sustainability, but by audacity and ambition. From packing three cosmonauts into a single cramped capsule to walking in the void with improvised gear, it stretched the limits of what was technically and politically possible in the 1960s. Despite its brief lifespan, Voskhod delivered milestones that paved the way for long-duration missions and space station collaborations. It showed that bold risks could accelerate progress, sometimes at great cost. As we look back, we're left with a question, where does innovation end, and recklessness begin?